providing special services. Good evening. More than just prenatal care, Planned Parenthood provides access to health care for transgender patients. More details from Lupe Rodriguez. A character comes out for the first time in the 46-year history of a daytime soap opera. And Kathleen Turner and Richard Chamberlain return to the silver screen on this May 2012 edition of Outlook Video. Welcome to Outlook Video, your nationally recognized, award-winning news magazine for gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender communities. I'm Roberta gonzalez Gregg, And I'm Jay Raley. And it's just one month before Gay Pride. And that means I'll be at the Dyke March and Rally. Yes, this Riding is... on those motorcycles. I'm jealous. <laughs> Artist Monconi's Kalindas is making waves, translating his art consisting of black lines and pure hues onto clothing using designs inspired by Guam and Northern Mariana Islands. His clothing line is gaining momentum along the Pacific Rim, including publications in Japanese magazines. Stateside, he's been invited to display his work in public art projects ranging from San Francisco City Hall to exhibits at malls on the East Bay and Aspect Gallery in San Francisco. Marconi Kalindis is here to talk in our studio with Alice Heimsoth about his latest exhibits now on display in San Francisco. And it's not just prenatal care, nor are abortion services well over 90% mm -hmm. of what Planned Parenthood does, as claimed by Republican Senator John Kyle. To clear the air about the many facets of Planned Parenthood, Mar Monte, Roberta will be talking with the Director of Public Affairs, Lupe Rodriguez. Airing every weekday since Jay here started kindergarten, maybe I would think it was pre-kindergarten, <laughs> Days of Our Lives is the second longest running daytime drama in the U.S. after General Hospital. The series' familiar opening title sequence with sands trickling through an hourglass has appeared over 11,810 times and finally, after other soap operas have had their gay storyline dating as far back as the 90s, a character has come out in the series centered in the fictional town of Salem. Days of Our Lives and Outfest hosted an LGBT screening and panel which focused on the recent gay storyline surrounding the character of Will Horton, played by Chandler Macy. We'll see and hear more from Days of Our Lives later in this half hour. And transitioning from the little screen to the silver screen, with a subject that's close to our Catholic upbringing, <laughs> Kathleen Turner returns to the screen as another super mom, but this time she's Aline Cleary, the ultimate Catholic who is desperately trying to keep up with appearances. That is this month's film review with Raymond Donald Hong. But first, Alice Heimsoth is in the studio with artist Marconi Kalindas. You're watching Outlook Video. I'm Nikki Blonsky and you're watching Outlook Video. A mosaic of colors, textures, and design. That really describes the work of our artists and guests tonight. Well, uh, Marconi Kalindas' subject matter varies from pop icons to triumphs of the human spirit. It's boldness in his visual vocabulary that holds the viewer's attention and continues to attract a widening audience. Marconi, thanks so much for coming down from San Francisco. Thank you for inviting me. This is such a great opportunity. All right. You know, you have such a distinct and rich style. When I look at it, I just wonder, um, what were some of your um, influences? What guided you to this, this type of style? I'm basically from the Philippines, so it's like we have like 7,000 islands. And then I worked actually as a reporter in uh, Northern Marian Islands, another island. And being in the island, it actually influenced me with the colors, with, you know, being alive, you know, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and the people and then the you know, atmosphere. So that basically influenced me too. I know that you have a, a clothesline. You started Wera Marconi in uh, 2007. I kind of wonder, how did you do the, the transition from paint to um, pa painting on garments? Okay, um, actually my, my partner saw my, my art. It used to be a hobby only. And then um, he said, oh, you know, why not uh, mm -hmm. put it on a shirt? And let's see. And then we started participating in arts festivals in the Marian Islands. And we realized that we have a market. 
And this big mall in the island saw it and said, oh, you want to buy some of your shirts and sell it to the tourists. So that's how we started with the shirt. And then we moved to Guam to sell the shirts there too. So right now they're, they're still doing good. Yeah. So, you know, some of my shirts are now, you know, uh, some people from Russia, from Tokyo, from Japan, you know, they're, they're wearing these shirts. You have a lot of your work on display by Coastally, you know, some in galleries in New York, some here. Um, I'm wondering how, uh, what's that like for you and how do you find your market? I consider myself lucky right now because there's just so many talented artists here in the USA. And for me, I've started to be recognized here. And now they're actually calling me and, you know, going to my studio and look for the arts to display in events. With regard to shows in New York, luckily they found me online. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, oh, we, we saw your art online and we would like to invite you to, to you know, to a show. So I've done shows in, in New York and in, in Minnesota. So it's, 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 it's really, you know, overwhelming. I know that you have an upcoming show as well as a workshop at the Moscone Center here in San Francisco. I want to hear more about it. I have a show actually at the Hotel Triton. So it started April 3rd and it's going to run till June 5th. I have my collection from the past and new ones as well. This, this work actually, they have LGBT themed pieces as well. But uh, in June, actually, I will be at the Children's Creativity Museum, formerly known as Zeum around the Yerba Buena Center. For me, it's like a big thing because this is going to be the Children's Creativity Museum's first workshop for the kids with the Pride theme. That's great. And I know that it's called the Rainbow Connection. And I call it the Rainbow Connection. We'll have to watch that and congratulations. And thank, and thank you. you so much for coming. And Good luck you, to thank you. you. Thank you. Marconi Kalindis's paintings are on display now through June 5th at the Hotel Triton at 342 Grand Avenue, just a few blocks from Union Square in San Francisco, and later on June 3rd through June 30th at the Creative Children's Museum on 221 4th Street at the Moscone Center in San Francisco. There will be a workshop on Saturday, June 9th and June 23rd from 11.30 in the morning to 3 p.m. For more information, go to his website at marconicolindis.com. Marconi, thanks so much oh, for coming. So much. And coming up next is Lupi Rodriguez on Transgender Services at Planned Parenthood. You're watching Outlook Video.